All right, we're out here uh, at a different venue, different bikes, Live Free and Shreds over there on a Fuel EX. I'm on a Top Fuel 9.7. We're out here shopping for trail bikes now. We've got enduro bikes, but we want something that's, you know, pedalable on our local trails, which we don't really have a lot of big mountains in southern New Hampshire, so. <laughs> <laughs> we need something to make the trails a little bit more fun and uh, we'll see how it goes. He's going to give you a review on his channel for the Fuel EX and I'm going to do the top fuel and we're going to see how it, uh, how it does on the local trails. Alright, we'll see you out there. Alright, we're out here with the top fuel, 2021 top fuel, 9.7 and I've ridden it few trails trying to get a feel for it and I have to say so far out of the box which you're gonna hear me say a lot feels very cross-country riding a large it's got a 170 mil dropper which is cool um, except for when you're kind of like in between sizes like I am I run a large frame and I want a uh, 150 mil dropper because I want that top tube length you know but this thing has a 70 mil stem short bars 750 mil bars it feels very cross country to me and you know which I'm not foreign to I raced cross country for a couple years I took a couple uh, New England Sport Masterclass Championships and also moved up to Cat 1, did a couple races and got into the top 10 on every race I did in Cat 1 um, and then I came down with Lyme disease and had to go on like months of antibiotics and I kind of gave it up and then with three kids it's just too much so Cross country bikes isn't something I'm foreign to. I'm very used to it. I've had quite a few bikes over the years. I've raced a Yeti AS ARC, a Yeti SB100, a uh, Pivot Mach 429SL, um, and you know, I came here. I wanted to demo this bike because I'm looking for a new trail bike. I'm not looking to race cross country, so I came with the expectation of looking at the geometry, 67 and a half on this, and low, I'd be able to, you know, put a 130 fork on it, maybe get it down to 67. It feels very similar to an SB100. Um, Efficiency-wise, travel-wise, um, Got a little bit more in the back. The SB100 wasn't a great race bike per se. It was a good cross country, down country bike, I guess you could call it, but um, it was okay. It's not like in the same league as the Epics of the world or the Super Caliber, which I haven't tried. Kind of getting used to the ride of this right now. And I just need to figure out if by making the minor changes I want, increasing the travel, and doing a drop. See you. Yeah. Rear suspension feels good off the drop. You know, when I first got on this thing, I'm like, Ugh. feels very cross country. But I'm slowly getting used to it and getting faster i'm on ryan's wheel again because before doing like getting on a when you first get on a bike when you're trying trying it out you're like you gotta figure it out feel it out and he dropped me in this first descent we dropped into because he's on a fuel ex i really gotta get into the bike like i can't just get on one and just ride it. This thing just like 
kind of begs to be ridden hard, I think. And I'm not, I'm kind of like pussyfooting around, I think. You know, I'm comparing to my Stump Jumper ST, which I have a 140 fork on. It's got a 67 and a no, 66 and a half degree head angle. It's plush. It's, you know, manual as well. Pops off stuff well. So getting right on this is kind of foreign. Just feels like a cross country bike again. Nope. Ha! Huh. I felt surprisingly good plush on that. That was like a, what, three and a half footer? This thing just took that drop and it did not feel harsh at all. I would definitely change the tires right out of that. They're just not, they're very cross country. Which, I really don't know what their aim is with this bike. Because they got the super caliber, but I think it's just like, you know, weekend warriors that want a super fast trail bike, but also uh, want to race too. I mean, it's tough to beat this thing as a climber though, because like, you put it in lockout and boom, it is full lockout. I definitely, if I was gonna run this as a trail bike, I would definitely, you know, slacken, the, slacken it out a little bit, put a longer fork, which is rated for a 130, which it says right on the website. So, that would get us down to like 67, I think. I'm kind of not really in my element right now with this bike. And the dropper keeps effing up on me. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, can't hook this one. There you go. Question is, is this enough bike to be my trail bike? Definitely like how fast it is. If you got skills, you want something that climbs really good and fast, then it's a pretty sweet bike. I like the way my stump jumper feels. I don't necessarily like the way it pedals. It's very, it's very active. So, out of the box, this thing has the full lockout, which, you can feel immediately. And it's a complete lockout, it's a twin lock. It does both the front fork and the rear. So like I'm pedaling right now, up a road, very slight uphill. I can feel Bob in the suspension, but as soon as I twist that, it's like, wow, full lockout. All the power going to the tires front locked out too which I don't know if I would keep the front lock out or not if I was racing maybe but I don't know I would probably just keep the real lo rear lock but uh man if your true trails are like more smooth and rocky and you just want to go fast. You want to pedal the transfers on like dirt roads. 
whatever it be or you want a trail ride one day you know maybe over fork it and then you want to go like ride with your buddies that race cross country or something like that and you're in decent shape you're honestly not gonna be far behind you know I don't think Ryan's really trying either but he's on the fuel EX big tires he's kind of pretty far behind on the same climb I don't think he's really trying that hard but like this thing's just like a rocket ship once you lock it out and I was quite su presently surprised off the four foot drop like it handled it quite well but overall if I was looking for a trail bike I would probably change the setup um, and then shorten the stem with some a little bit wider bars stuff like that would be good but honestly you know I know people come to look at these reviews because they want the bike reviewed as is as you get it so I mean as is I would say you know it, it's it's very cross-country if your trails are smooth you know you do the occasional drop but you just want to go really fast rail the corners really hard um, you want an efficient very efficient pedaler something that you can lock out on the fly and you can just gravel grind and you know do a really efficient mountain bike ride um, then out of the box it's great I would say for a trail bike though if you're looking to have a one bike that does it all kind of thing and you do want to do drops you want to do you know jumps and you may even want to take it to the bike park every once in a while stuff like that I would probably opt up for the fuel EX and if you're in the enduro you can check out the uh, slash review that I've got I'll leave the link up in the description down in the description and I'll leave a link up in the uh, cards at the top It'll flash on the screen check it out um, I don't have the weight on this thing but it feels super light I think it's right around like 26 pounds stock but a lot of that's in tires which you know I would probably change them out unless you're doing really smooth trails all the time and that's it where we're riding in leaves and stuff like that it's very like ooh, you know not a lot of grip super fast fast rolling um, just not a lot of grip when you get a lot of stuff on the trail like we have here in New Hampshire So this is the 9.7 top fuel, comes with NX, pretty much entire drivetrain is NX with SRAM dub. Um, it's got the aluminum Bontrager wheels, uh, it does have carbon frame, it does not have the storage internal to the frame like the Fuel EX has, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but with this kind of bike, I mean, I guess you don't really need it. Uh, it comes with the RockShock Reba 120 millimeter fork, um, which is okay. Didn't under overwhelm me. Um, Shimano brakes, NX shifter. This is really cool. This is the twin lock, which I got it on right now. And you can just by twisting it, you can see does the fork and it does the shock at the same time with one twist so that's pretty cool it makes it an extremely efficient bike um, tires are great for smooth trails and stuff like that they have some pretty good grip um, I would probably as usual I change them out to a Vittoria so that's what I'm used to um, but yeah there she is. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments.